Okay, as I showed in my last video, I'm going to use a little fan as the bearing for my homemade turntable to make a little record player. So now it's a moment of truth. I've sawn around the fan and um, I'm going to separate it and we'll see um, whether it's going to work. Right, anyway, so that bit's off. Okay, it's a bit rough, so um, maybe I'll just cut the uh, fan blades off as well, and then that should actually um, pivot quite nicely. Right, starting to look at how it's all going to fit together. I've actually left the fan blades on and I've just gone round with um, a craft knife and it's cleaned it all up so it actually does spin nicely and quietly. Now in terms of driving the turntable, I'm not going to use the fan motor uh, because it would try to drive it far too fast, so I'm going to mount a motor on the edge. Now I had thought about using this little motor here, uh, if we try just powering that up. Now it's not a very big motor, it's not very powerful and it is actually quite noisy so um, probably not the best choice. So I had a hunt around, um, I still didn't find the little motor I'm really looking for but I did find this motor here. And this is um, a Como Drills motor, this is actually probably quite a good quality motor that was designed either to drive a drill or for a sort of general hobbyist. It could be quite old actually. Uh, I remember these sort of um, motors being sold back in the 1980s. Turn on the voltage. Now it's not silent, but I think it's less intrusive than the other one. It's got a fair amount of torque to it and uh, it's got a nice mounting bracket which I'm sure I can make use of. So um, at the minute I think we'll go with this one. Just a few notes on the, the layout while I'm here. Found a nice piece of board, um, off cut, some wood. Um, shelf brackets never been used and uh, this is um, one of those uh, shelves from um, self-assembly CD DVD rack so I'm thinking about something like put that one there that would go on there like so might use that for the tone arm and then using some arrangement here, maybe like so, at the motor, pretty much in the right position anyway, so that this actually drives the edge here. And I'll probably put some sort of pulley or covering on there. Um, and that should drive it around at, at somewhere in the right ballpark speed. And then I just have to adjust the voltage or adjust the size of the little wheel so that it actually drives it at the right speed. So there we go, that's the plan so far. So the next job will be to attach the turntable or the platter to the motor or to the uh, bearing I should say. And then decide quite where I want it on here. I'd like to get that up and running and then we'll worry about the motor mount. I'm going to worry about getting them platter to turn at a sensible speed before uh, I worry about the uh, cartridge or the tone arm or any of the electronics around that. There won't be much in the way of electronics. I'm going to keep it really simple. The idea is to literally throw together a record player using just the stuff I've got lying around, stuff that you might have lying around. Um, maybe you could build something similar if it works. Okay. That's it for now.
thanks for watching and if you've enjoyed this video please subscribe to Mr RG Stuff.